In the last movie, we took a look at the seven mathematical operators that Access has at our disposal. Let's see how we can use these with actual data. We're going to go up to our Create tab, and we'll create a new query in Design View. I'm going to add our Products table to our query, and we're done with the Show Tables window, so I can close that. Now, for this query, we're interested in finding out the price per ounce of all the products that we carry. I'm going to include the product name, the price, and the size, which is in the ounces field. Now we're going to create the mathematical expression that will give us the price per ounce of each product. Let's go ahead and right-click and say Zoom to bring up the Zoom window. So the expression is going to look something like this, price divided by size. Now this isn't actually the correct syntax that we need. We need to be more specific so that Access knows exactly where these values are coming from. So I'm going to go ahead and rename price, and I'm going to tell it that it's coming from the table products, tbl underscore products, and it's coming from the field named price. And this is the syntax that Access requires. We need to wrap the table name in square brackets, and then we separate each by a period. I'm going to do the same thing for our size field. So the size is coming from the table products, and it's coming from the ounces field. So once again, we're taking the ounces field from the table products. So our full expression reads to take the price in the products table, divided by the size, which is in ounces, from the products table. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And Access gives it a expression one alias. And we can go ahead and rename this. And we're going to call this dollars per ounce. And if I run this, we'll see that we've got a new calculated field that gives us the price per ounce of each of our products. If I were to sort based off of this, I can click on the downward arrow and say sort largest to smallest. We'll see the highest price per ounce product that we carry. So by using some of the mathematical operators to combine the data that's in our data tables, we can come up with new values that might give us some insight into our data. It should be noted that these mathematical operators will only work with numerical data. Access does offer some similar functionality that applies to text, and we'll take a look at those in the next movie.